In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make printed circuit boards from start to finish. I will have links in the description where you can get most of the items that you need. We start with the computer rendering of the circuit board. After a printed copy is made on paper, just to make sure that everything is correct, we print it on transparency film, which I have done here. I make two copies and tape them together to make the traces extra dark. We're going to use the positive photo resist method. This means that the dark traces on the transparency are the actual traces that you will see on the circuit board. This is a positive acting board, which I'm going to open. And the side that is going to get uh, printed on has a piece of a uh, protective uh, covering on the uh, positive photoresist medium that is behind there. These boards come as single-sided and double-sided. Um, I particularly like the uh, Evermuse and as I said it comes in various sizes. You don't want to do open this up in bright light. I um, have a, a dim light in the back that I'm going to use when I uh, put it on the board. This is a uh, solarizer, uh, which you can purchase at various places. Um, we shine the UV light through the film onto the board. The areas exposed to the light will get stripped off when we put the board in the developer solution. You can use a regular light instead of this or fluorescent light, uh, but I found that if you make enough boards, um, you should buy one of these UV boxes because it will give you reproducible results 100% of the time uh, when you uh, set it to the uh, proper amount of exposure time. Um, just make sure that when you set up the uh, board, you orient your film properly with your board. Since I'm going to have the traces on the bottom of the board and the light shines from the underside here, I'm going to put my traces in the proper orientation this way. The light will shine through and I will place the board in here like so without the piece of uh, paper here. Once it's lined up right, I will shut this and I'll turn it on and develop it. So let's go and do that part. Remember, the part that is exposed to light will get stripped off, so you don't want to leave this out for too long. Now we develop it for 90 seconds. While I am uh, exposing the board to UV light, I need to make the developer solution. I am going to mix uh, one teaspoon of sodium metasilicate uh, pentahydrate into uh, 200 cc's of warm water. I have used sodium hydroxide, but it's very sensitive to the pH, and if you're off by just a little bit, you run the risk of stripping the entire board even after exposure. I think the sodium metasilicate is much more forgiving, and it works very well, and it's uh, readily available.
Gonna put the board in. You can see some faint yellow uh, discolorations on it from the uh, UV exposure. You can use a little brush if you want to help. The next step will be to strip the copper off, which we'll get to next. I have a uh, 9 by 15 Pyrex dish. I think this size is great for pretty much any board you're going to make. Um, you can heat it, you can freeze it, it's acid resistant, except to hydrofluoric acid. Um, it's uh, very durable and you can pick these up in a number of places. You're going to need muriatic acid, which is hydrochloric acid. I have 3% hydrogen peroxide, although I am going to experiment with higher concentrations, like 12%. Uh, for now, I'm going to I've seen a 1 to 2 part ratio. I've had better luck with 1 to 3. Uh, so 100 milliliters of muriatic acid, 300 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. You must have gloves. Hydrochloric acid will dissolve your skin. It will destroy your lungs. You have to do this outside in a well-ventilated place. Uh, muriatic acid is extremely dangerous. Uh, be very careful with it. At the end, once the board is made, I have a micro uh, drill bit set, uh, which I use to make varying size holes in the uh, circuit board which uh, we have here. Again, uh, I was more focused on filming this than aligning this properly. What I should have done was had a uh, alignment line on my uh, uh, transparency to properly align the uh, image with the board, but no matter. So let's begin. So that's 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And let's add two hundred three hundred there. So almost three parts peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, to uh, one part hydrochloric acid. Now we just let it agitate. So now the board is done, the tracings are pretty clean, and I'm going to use my uh, micro drill bit set to drill the varying size holes uh, that are needed. With those drill bits, it's possible to get this board cut with holes. 
That'll fit a chip real nicely. Hope this helps you in your circuit board endeavors.